Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Haley Jong. And I'm Cameron Fornetti. Today is Thursday, December 1st, and we're here with your morning announcements. Wow, it's already December. The year went by so fast. Yeah, it did. It feels like summer was just yesterday. Yeah, and our school really kept up with the IMCO tickets. Yeah, they actually made a few adjustments. Let's take a look at what they've done. You are now able to redeem your IMCO tickets throughout the whole day, not just after school. And once you return any ticket, you're going to receive an IMCO wristband and small ticket, as well as your original voucher back. IMCO! Tomorrow is the Senior Great America trip. Seniors must be in their scheduled first and second period classes in order to go. Students who just show, show at and leave that will not be allowed to attend. Make sure to be at the buses by 1 p.m. All buses are going to be seated in alphabetical order. This month will mark the start of an epic school-wide class versus class competition. Starting today, the grade level with the lowest tardies by the end of December will receive donuts. Each and every student on the grade level will receive donuts, so be sure to be on time every day. In spirit of the holiday season, Santa's Workshop Food Fair is next Friday, December 9th. Each ticket costs 50 cents. It's going to be a lot of fun, so make sure you bring your money, Wolfpack. And for all you holiday fanatics, wear your ugliest sweater to the library on December 6th or 7th and get a sweet treat. And while you're there, be sure to check out books and cozy up with the fire during holiday break. Now let's pass it on over to Jacob and Desmond for your sports update. <laughs> Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Desmond Lilligard. And I'm Jacob Corder, and we're here with your sports update. Starting off, the varsity boys basketball team is going to McKinleyville for a tournament, and the JV team is also remaining at home. Also today, the varsity girls play in the Cartwright Classic against Elk Grove. Good luck. Another team that has been bringing the heat this winter season is the wrestling team. They went to Ponderosa yesterday for a scrimmage and did pretty well as a whole. They'll be going back to Shingle Springs on Friday for Ponderosa duels. On to soccer, both boys and girls varsity teams play at home against Franklin tonight. The Wolfpack is 4-1 with the Wildcats overall, so let's keep our winning streak. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Jacob Corder. And I'm Desmond Lilligard. Back, back to, to you, anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. Now let's get into some club announcements. Today, during Wolfpack Hour, there will be an emoji-themed party in the MP room for Link Crew members. This party is to celebrate the last couple of months on strengthening the pack and helping freshmen begin their wonderful years at CO. The LGBTQ club will be selling some tasty hot chocolate for $1 in the MP room for the next week and a half. Come and show your support. And tomorrow, there will be a mandatory UNICEF club meeting in HB7 at 320. In addition for tomorrow, there will be an FBLA meeting in room HG2 at 315. They will be preparing for northern section competitions coming in February, so you do not want to miss this meeting. If you have any questions, see an FBLA officer or Ms. Lante in room HG2. And last but not least, tomorrow the Smiles Maker Club will be having a mandatory meeting at 320 to 4 in Ms. Wilson's room, HP3. They will be finalizing their food fair and t-shirts. 
Well, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Haley Dong. And I'm Cameron Farnetti. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Congrats, Congrats on, on finishing, finishing your, your college apps, seniors. seniors.